Founded in December 1887 by E.V. Gregory, T.L. Moulton, and Captain John G. Smith, the John G. Smith Company was originally chartered as agents for Commercial Union Assurance and Liverpool and London and Globe Insurance. Three years later, Aetna appointed the John G. Smith Company as a general agent for the state of Alabama. With its growing book of business, Smith hired a clerk, Mr. Herbert Levy, in 1896. Starting salary, $20 a month. Two years later, George Estes and Charles O. Locke joined the company, eventually buying out the interests of Gregory and Moulton. In 1945, to reflect the involvement of John Cobbs, Wilbur Allen, and John Hall, who respectively joined the company in 1928, 1940, and 1945, the company changed its name to Cobbs, Allen, and Hall. A college freshman who unexpectedly left the University of the South to join the company as a rookie salesman in 1928, John Cobbs was quiet, unassuming, and diligent. He would eventually become chairman of the board. He's one of three children, and uh, he uh, began college at Sewanee and was a freshman there and uh, had his uh, fraternity initiation and they shaved all his hair off and then his father died suddenly and his brother and sister decided that he would come back and go to work and support his mother. So he had one semester of college and he went back to work selling insurance in, during the depression, bald headed and sort of shy. In spite of his shyness, Cobbs displayed excellent business skill. Within his first 10 years of employment, coinciding with the company's 50th anniversary, Cobbs acquired an interest in the company. In 1940, Wilbur Allen was hired. A passionate advocate of the National Association of Insurance Agents, Allen invested much time and energy into how the association model could help his company deliver unparalleled client service. We were going through some of his papers and uh, I found a uh, copy of a speech he had given, uh, I think, to the National Association of Independent Insurance Agents. And I found something in it very interesting where he, he said something to the effect of, don't ask what uh, your agency can do for you, ask what you can do for your agency. And I thought, well, this is strange. And it was even stranger when I realized the date was in 1957 and President Kennedy gave that similar speech in like 60 or 61. By the mid-1940s, the company hired John C. Hall to lead its newly founded mortgage division. To see his legacy being a part of the ongoing success of a company like this is, would just, he wouldn't say a word. You might see a little smile on his face. By this time, Cobbs, Allen, and Hall was a finely tuned machine, a small, ambitious team pursuing new business opportunities in a post-war nation. With John Hall successfully growing the mortgage division, John Cobbs and Wilbur Allen recruited a new salesman, a U.S. Army discharge by the name of Andrew K. Stumpf. During his 40-plus year career at the brokerage, Stumpf worked his way up from rookie salesman to president and eventually chairman of the board. We prepared a report. It was in a nice folder and uh, analyzing each segment of their insurance coverage and pointing out the holes and so forth that they had. Uh, there was just uh, so many things that uh, so some people would have, oh, maybe 10 fire policies. They wouldn't, neither, none of them would be alike as far as co-insurance and uh, coverage. Lots of them didn't have enough insurance. Lord, if they'd had a fire, they'd have been in bad shape. But we were able to, with this survey, point out those errors get additional business, and get the whole account. During this time, the company sold the mortgage division and expanded its private and commercial insurance business. At its core, the Cobbs, Allen & Hall of yesterday was not all that different from the value-driven agency it is today. 
Since its origin, the organization's lasting trademarks have included hard work, perseverance, and client advocacy. Really what keeps us in a partnership with somebody is the way we work with them on a daily basis, not just at their renewal time and helping them in their daily function. Back when Katrina hit New Orleans, and I have a customer that had a brother that lived in Pascagoula, Mississippi, and they needed help tracking down his homeowner's carrier, his auto carrier, he couldn't get in touch with his agent, and he called me. And I made some phone calls and got people in touch with him so that he could start rebuilding where he was. Every day should be an impact that I give good service to my customer. There's no right way to do the wrong thing. And I think that explains so much of what our culture is here, what our history has been, what we want everyone to know going forward for the next 125 years. We had a client several years ago that had an issue in their um, manufacturing, it's a manufacturing facility. They had a contractor on site that damaged, they were doing some construction work and they damaged a major support pillar and the roof caved in. Major loss. Our claims people were out there that day holding his hand, walked when OSHA came by because they were concerned about what had happened. Our guy walked them through that, has been with them every step of the way. It's been a, for a year, it was probably a every day or every other day meeting that he had to walk them through it. That account loves us um, and, and we've done a great job for them and hopefully they'll never see a need to leave us. But that's, we were providing a great solution for them and being a great partner for them. These guys and girls have a, a strong desire to be the best, to never lose a customer. And to go along with that passion and desire, they've thought about what they need to do to keep a customer for the long haul. Typically, when we offer the various solutions to them to help them in their business, I will ask the question, are you getting this from your current relationship? and 90% plus of the time, if not more, the answer is no. Cobbs Allen & Hall is a different type of broker. We're outsourced risk managers. Cobbs Allen & Hall is a great team. Um, I always feel like uh, such a special person when I go to their office and um, get to meet with all of them and um, they're a lot of fun to work with and, um, and I just know they're always there for me and I can count on them. They do go above and beyond the call uh, as far as a client is concerned. Our company values our integrity and our honesty and our customer service and the people at Cobbs Allen and Hall uh, have the same attributes. We had a guy here that used to have a saying and he said if you're gonna be a bear be a grizzly. A Bruce Stinson was actually on a trip in Santa Fe and he had seen this uh, American Indian artifact, a, a statue of a bear, and he called me and he said, I've got the, I've got the award for the Grizzly uh, Award, this statue. He said, I'm gonna bring it back. And I said, uh, well, great. And he said, no, I need to tell you about it first. And I said, well, sounds good, just go with it. And he said, well, it, we need to insure it, it's pretty expensive. So I said, okay, well, wait a minute, tell me a little bit more about it. So uh, anyway, we bought it and brought it back and it's been the, kind of the, a fun thing to have. We have an annual awards banquet uh, every year and we invite everybody to it. And, and it's where we can celebrate the successes that the people have had during the year. But our top growth uh, producer for the year earns the title of the Grizzly. We can't put a deal together and keep it without everybody else in the firm. I mean, we have about 30 five production people. Well, we have another hundred people that back up those 35. We don't just work here, we live here, uh, we're raising families here. Bottom line is we want to be good corporate citizens. We care and that we are there for people, not just on a day-to-day -day insurance basis. At Cobbs Island Hall, we're proud to be a part of this community. Our story is one of hard work and customer service. We'll continue to be here for probably another 125. There's no better place to be with except Cobbs Island Hall. It's been a great journey. I've now got second generation customers. I'm just proud that I'm a part of this company because I feel like we do the right thing every day for our customers. 125 years is a long time. It's a long time for an entity to stay in business and to do that you have to have good people 
within your organization. Congratulations, Cobbs, Allen & Hall, on 125 years of business. Congratulations, Cobbs, Allen & Hall, you're the best. Happy anniversary is a great message to deliver. 125 years is a long time.